You know, Cincinnati is a pretty artsy town. If you didn't know that, the historic Cincinnati Art Museum here in Mount Adams and the Contemporary Art Center downtown come to mind, of course. But even better than the institutions are the people who make the art. Joining me now is Todd Wurzbacher and Cedric Michael Cox. They're here to talk about the Cincinnati Arts Ambassador Fellowship Program. It's a mouthful, but it's a really <laughs> great thing. Todd, I understand that you're on the Cincinnati Arts Allocation Committee. So explain all of so that's really in charge of this fellowship program. Explain it. That's correct. The uh, the committee is actually in charge of the fellowship program, and really what the fellowship program is all about is trying to recognize that we do have great artists in this city, that we want those great artists to continue to produce great arts, and so we're going to try and find ways to I don't know kind of incentivize them to do that through fellowship programs like this one. And of course, you received one of those fellowships. Yes, in 2009, uh, I was I received an individual artist grant, and now I sit on board as well with Todd. And it's wonderful. It's a great experience to have the opportunity to be able to share my expertise and what I do in what in visual, as a visual artist and actually be able to judge and compare and contrast and try to find the top-notch artists in the city to receive such a you know, gracious award. Okay, so that's what's going on. You're looking for these artists right now who basically can apply for this fellowship. So what? who do they need to be? What do they need to be able to do? What's the process? Well, there's an application process and, you know, they, it's been out there for about six weeks now. About that, yes. About six June. weeks, yes, yeah, since June. And uh, we've been getting a good number of applicants and it's due next Friday and mm -hmm. it's been a great uh, number. Uh, we have some visual artists, of course, who are applying, literary artists as well as uh, uh, performance yes, art, yes, some dance artists, some film, film. Video, So it can be, it writers. doesn't have to be someone who's painting with acrylics. Right, right. it's pretty wide open. So. <laughs> and so then what, what happens to these folks once they're selected? How, you know, what, well, how do they get selected? And then what happens from there? And I know you would speak to this directly, but let's go through that process. I mean, it's really a jurying process. So once all the applications come in, uh, we will take a look at those, kind of winnow it down to a list of 12 finalists. And out of those 12 finalists, select seven winners of the fellowship awards. And then what do they, what are they required to do? Well, they're required to, in, 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 the, in addition to executing whatever they're going to get the money for, which would be their program, their project, they'll also do a public performance, either at the Emory, Emory Theater, okay, or at the uh, Clifton Cultural Arts Center. This is yours, I imagine. Uh, the, oh, yeah, actually, yeah, that's a, um, that's a piece that I did. Uh, with the uh, Kennedy Heights Art Center over Gabriel's place, and this is not necessarily the project that I uh, that I received the grant for, but it's a good example of what I do as a visual artist in the community. I do, you know, various things with kids, and that's what I did with my grant when I got it. So hopefully, these artists who will be participating in this or getting this money will be doing project programs, and we'll be seeing that they're doing programs that enrich the community. That's one of the the the, the keys is that you want people who will do something within the community exactly. and with the community, right? Yeah. Correct, correct. Exactly. And so you're really hoping, I think, to keep the best and the brightest here, doing the best and the brightest things all around our community and Indeed. encouraging, even like fostering these other seeds to grow within this, right. this place that is so amazingly rich with great art. It is. Exactly. I mean, we have a great entrepreneurial community here, so it's really important to have a robust arts community that works in conjunction with them and really kind of fills out the creative scene in, in this city of ours. Now, I don't know your history, but did you grow up here? In Cincinnati? Yeah, I, I was born in Dayton, Ohio, and grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio, and uh, yeah, it's great. It's been a great road uh, here, you know, expanding my uh, my, uh, my ability as an artist in this city. And then, you know, recently I've been able to take my work elsewhere. But I think it's opportunities like this grant that gives you credibility as a visual artist and can give you more opportunities to receive more grants, not only within your city or with, you know, this Ohio sure. Arts Fund, but throughout, you know, other states and other, pro you know, areas in the, in the country and in the world. All right, then let's talk specifics. When, when do people need to apply by? When, where do they need to go? The deadline for applications, I believe, is next Friday, August 31st. You can find a link to the application process on the Cincinnati Rec Commission's website. So, you know, everybody needs to get on that. Any professional artist, jump on that. Yeah, I think don't too. delay much longer because you're going to have to put something together pretty <laughs> yeah, spectacular absolutely. to win this. Yes. Thank you, gentlemen, for Thank coming you. in. We wish you continued success with this program and, and in your lives as well. Thanks so much.